Tag. And the last but not least, the voice of Marceline Olivia Olsen. <laughs> which is a, a huge deal. Uh, the, the quote was, uh, sorry, the quote was, it entertains even as it subtly teaches lessons about growing up, accepting responsibility, and becoming who you're meant to be. Wow. Yeah, it's actually really, really cool. Um, so great, can you guys give us uh, any updates on season seven? Well, thank you all for being here, by the way. And can you tell if my notes are in order? <laughs> thank you all for being here after I've already talked to you. Hey, can I thank you for being an awesome, awesome moderator? Yeah. I'm trying real hard. I'm trying real hard. Uh, hey, thank you. This is, a, uh, this is definitely about me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, correct, correct. Uh, no, seriously, can you guys, uh, could you fill us in on what's in store for uh, season 7, which premieres uh, later this year? And by the way, last card of the first book. Woo! It's like Gordon Dahl's Lincoln. Yeah, season 7 should premiere later this fall, and one of the first episodes is a guest-directed episode by Kirsten Lepore and Bix Picks Entertainment, and it's a stop-motion episode. I think we're going to show a clip right now. Oh, what a, what a coincidence. This is called Bad Jubies, which is just my favorite word to say. <laughs> it's an amazing word. Uh, yeah, this is guest directed by Kristen Laporte. Stop-motion animation coming out later this year. Let's, uh, let's look at that clip. Excellent. Thank you. That's so sweet. I want to hug all those characters now. <laughs> they look so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> was, that, was that fun for you guys to see, like, in a new format? Oh, yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's the first time I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's amazing. I think every show should be remade and stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, coming this Halloween, uh, is something that Marceline fans will love to sink their teeth into. Uh, uh, could you tell, that, uh, tell us a little something about that, Olivia? Yeah, we are doing an eight-part little mini-sode called Steaks. And you're going to find a lot about some history. And... <laughs> it's going to be epic. epic. And then 
adventures. That's, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be epic! Oh, yes, it will be. Um, and I believe we have a performance. Yeah, we should probably set that up a little. Oh, yeah, so. you probably set this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a Marceline miniseries, uh, it wouldn't really feel complete unless Rebecca Sugar wrote a song for it. So. <laughs> written yet for the show, at least for Marceline. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll play it. Wow. I think it deserves a little more applause than that. They're playing this for you guys live, so... Oh my god, Marceline was looking great right at me when she's singing. <laughs> Every guy in the audience. <laughs> she was looking right at me. <laughs> the song is called Everything Stays. Let's go in the garden. You'll find something waiting. Right there where you left it. Lying upside down. When you find it. The underside is lighter when you turn it around. Everything stays right where you left it. Everything stays, but it still changes ever so slightly, daily and nightly, in little ways, when everything stays. Jake and they were like, we can't find that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have like size 
Marceline, that's not really the hardest. Marceline was like a boot girl. We got some! Marceline, that's what it is. They made, they made Jake Dickies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the messy ones. <laughs> Do you like biscotti? <laughs> It's just your actual face. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. It's like it's my so mouth bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> we need more garments. Yeah. <laughs> the ice. It's the ice cream G string with detachable beard. <laughs> say that please be aware there's many members of the audience that are under 18 years of age. Hey, come so on. It right in front of you. Right there. <laughs> I did not know this. I have no pants on behind this. <laughs> <laughs> I was unaware. Yeah, I was unaware. It's nice. It's a Comic Con breeze. Did the did the bear hurt? Hmm? No, it's just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> As Cartoon Network kind of expects it. It's a lot of I have, I have a, a couple personal questions here. Uh, if you could do an episode of Adventure Time, but cast all of the Adventure Time people as Muppets, who would they be? Oh, wow. My favorite thing to do is cast pre-existing things, but like who, who, who the Muppets would play in them. <laughs> uh, the, e the eagle on the Muppets would Same. play the, the Banana Guard number one. <laughs> Smart. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. It's, uh, and then, wow. Who played Jake? It's Probably Fozzie. Fozzie. Yeah. Raka, raka, raka! <laughs> Maybe Ralph. What time you know? is it? Yeah, adventure tech now! I think Lumpy Space Princess is definitely Miss Piggy. Yeah. yeah. I think if you combine Statler and Waldorf into Statdorf, then you'd have the ice cream. <laughs> Sitting up in the balcony throwing lightning bolts. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> thing. And that really boring new one, Walter. Who would he be? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Walter is such an exciting All right, moment. kids, time to get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you guys Beaker, have... wait, Beaker could play BMO. B hyphen KR. Do you guys have any crazy fan stories uh, since this uh, whole panel here is for the fans? Do you have like any fan interactions or, or, or any costumes, amazing fan stories? Oh, there's lots of crazy costumes. We have plenty on the audience. Yeah, there's thousands of those. It's awesome. We we were in Australia and somebody had a the hood of their car yeah. was 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 made of like painted entirely in Jake's. It was Jake's all over it, yeah. which was kind of cool. We signed it and stuff like that. Was and then fun. also while we were over there, there was a, a dude had a his whole oh. story outside his house. It was yeah. all custom, like artist mural, all like Adventure Time at the Treehouse, all the characters and all the outside and stuff. It was crazy. We, we have it on our, our Twitter. Yeah. If you if you guys are into Twitter. Follow them. You can find me at Jeremy Shade on Twitter and Instagram. Also, I've seen um, an infant dressed as Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> you haven't seen anything more cute than a little baby that. You just imagine it saying, oh my glob, and you're like, that's it, that's a wrap on the day, I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's where Ann Geddes and Pendleton Ward have a harmonic convergence. <laughs> Who needs to see a baby dressed like peas when you can have lumpy space bridges? <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody? Well, I actually, last night I was in a, I was in a, a tiki bar called the, the Cat Eye Club here in town. And there, yeah, so yeah, I don't know, is, is uh, the guy that was dressed like Ice King there? He, there? There was a guy dressed like Ice King, like just sitting there with his wife or girlfriend who also was Adventure Timed Out. And, you know, they didn't know who I was, so. But he had the crown on, and he was like sitting there like at karaoke, like with the crown on at the table. So I bought him a big flaming uh, dry ice drink and a giant skull. <laughs> And I said, hey, this is for you. And he went, what? I, I, I think there's been a, I, a why. And I said, because I approve your choice of headgear. <laughs> he said, he said, I said, buy me a drink. 
I said, actually, it's from Gunther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my voice isn't distinct enough to do that. I once hissed at a little kid in the supermarket and then um, shamed me. <laughs> well, Jim doesn't hiss at a little kid. You just hiss at a little kid. It doesn't matter what character voice you do it in. <laughs> this is the little kid you had backstage, right? No, I'm just kidding. She brought him with him. I was just this kidding. They're dating now. I've fallen into a lot of shirt pockets. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask one more question. We're going to the thing. I'm gonna do this really quick. Can I get you guys to do my voicemail? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Hey, this is Bobby's phone. I'm Jake. I'm Finn the Human. And it's the Ice King. Bobby is out of the Ice Castle doing something really important. Hey, guess who else is here? So, it's my name. <laughs> so Bobby will get back to you after the sound of the beat. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked. I didn't realize I, there was, I had to pass it to my left. I freaked out. Okay. Thanks for Thank you for that, guys. That was, we'll, that was we'll, me we'll get that better free of charge. That's 80 bucks, by the way. <laughs> Autograph Alley. <laughs> uh, will the pre-selected Adventure Time Fiona please come up? Special item to give away. It's, it is I an extra special. Item. Myself. I item. Don't you? I was thinking about just keeping it for me, but that would be very nice. Yeah. No, it, no one would know. They really would. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we are now. Anybody like music? <laughs> Does anybody like I hate music. <laughs> Especially Adventure Time guitars, which is exactly what this bad boy right here is. Yeah. Look at this. Seriously, take a look at this. On the camera? Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're all it's on its way. Jeremy, can you play bow, bow, bow? It's not really hooked into an amp, so I actually can't do that. But we can play the music. Signed by me, John, Tom, and Olivia, and we're giving it to. Where's the. We have a. So, uh, Marceline Cosby? Yes, yeah, so Marceline. Oh, if you are dressed as Marceline, I would like you to come right up here. And Jeremy here. and Olivia are going to choose uh, a winner from the audience. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there'd be Wait, more. Wait, there's only two of you? <laughs> uh, this is going to be a guitar roll. We're going to have to look at the body after this thing right now. Wait, you can't... Okay. Oh, there's three. Uh, there's a third one. There's a third one. <laughs> is there more? <laughs> Will the real Marceline please come forward? You guys are all friends Friends of the last winner. Okay. Hey, y'all. Yeah, Ice King is coming up. Look at that. 
piggybacking on the free yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Question, do any of you guys currently play the guitar or interested in learning how? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Lies. Let me give lessons. Now we'll deliberate. I was told we're doing this by audience applause, correct? Oh, are we? Oh, I don't know. Are you guys picking? I don't, I don't like this responsibility. Sure. You how would you guys like us to pick or audience applause? Yeah! yeah. Are you saying you? Yes! <laughs> I'm not fit to judge. For camps. Spot ball! Let's go inspect them. Let's go down there and inspect them. Uh, let's go inspect them, okay. Oh. The red dress. Red dress. Let's get real. So that it'll come across as creepy. This went from a contest to an exam very quickly. Yeah. Can we get some thinking music? Face to fit. This is a no-win situation. We need the music. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We've seen all we need to see. <laughs> You've made your decision has been made. Just launch it into the audience and whoever catches it. Yeah. Yay! You guys still you guys get prizes too, right? Is that right? They also get yes, they do, you guys get stuff too. Yes, you guys still get stuff. But you get this bad boy, so
<laughs> it's like drinking beer. Yeah, it is. It's it is. Just, you can just put down 11. A confusing <laughs> buzz. Um, uh, yeah, what can you tell us uh, uh, about this upcoming season, guys? Um. Uh, next week is the start of an uh, all new Steven Bomb. Number three. <laughs> Steven Bomb three. And uh, this week is actually it's a full five part arc that, that'll go from Monday to Friday. So. <laughs> The other one was a little much for any of you. Uh, maybe be careful. <laughs> Do you want to set up the clip? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like I'd like you to meet Sardon. There was somebody that really inappropriately yelled during that. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was disturbing, dude. He's proud. Take it down a notch. I'm just as excited as you, as you guys to see that, because that's the first time I've heard her voice or seen her at all in color, so. Me too. Yeah, her voice is uh, Alexia Kaname. Um, she was uh, in Wicked in London. She's amazing, amazing singer. Amazing. Uh, we're all fans of the uh, of the Steven Universe theme, and uh, I hear that you guys have uh, worked on a, a special extended version. Yeah. Uh, some of you might remember some of this song um, from the pilot. This is the full the full theme. Um, yeah, we uh, updated we updated the title sequence recently, and so we sort of came up with this uh, extended intro to kind of show uh, the development of the characters from the beginning of the show and now. And actually, you get to hear uh, Zach do you know sing Stephen as he is now, but then we also get to hear like way back, like from the pilot. Yeah, version. yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually did that song for the original audition, and when I sent it in, there was the ten lines of dialogue and then the extended intro. Uh, and I kind of fell in love with it then. And whenever somebody asks me to sing the uh, the theme now, I, I go back to that and start there instead of where the, the new one starts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and everybody's singing. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Didi and Michaela, who couldn't be here, but also Estelle is singing in this extended song. <laughs> and, uh, this is the first time it's ever been heard anywhere. So, uh, yeah, it's Rebecca would want to know that uh, Rebecca has a book coming out in October uh, called The Guide to Crystal Gems. It's out in October from Penguin Books, and that brings us to yet another fan giveaway. These fan giveaways seem to take a long time, so I'm going to say there's a, going to be a fan give. Oh, someone's coming! I love it already! She's going, she's going to work in 10 minutes. You won, you won before you got the prize. Nice job. <laughs> that is the best Bootsy Collins cosplay that I've ever seen. <laughs> That's serious. Uh, sweet, we're going to do another Q&A quick so you guys can uh, head up to the mics for, oh god, everyone. Don't hurt me, just for Okay. Uh, you guys are lining up 
nothing like thank you, and I just want to tell you that our good friend no. Estelle over here, Estelle, actually wrote and performed the uh, the theme song to We Bear Bears. Yeah. Like, so can you, this is new cartoon, I was like, send it over, I was like, okay, how do you cram 15 seconds, I almost called you Rebecca, I almost called you and said, ha ha, da, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but no, it was fun, it's good, I'm excited to be a little bit out of that, but this is, oh, this is cool, okay. Thank you for doing it, do we have that clip, am I crazy, do we have that clip, uh, great, let's get to the, the Q&A, uh, first question, hi everyone, Hi everyone, uh, this question is for Rebecca. Um, I'm wondering if, uh, besides Steven or any potential fusions he'll make, uh, will we ever see a uh, gem that is uh, addressed by male pronouns? Steven is the first male gem. Gems are just gems. Uh, but if a, if a gem chose to take on and identify as a male, they absolutely could. Next question, please. I was getting water. <laughs> this question is for John G. Mago. John G. Mago! You call it John G. Mago. It's alright, kid. The target kid. Are you the same kid from before with just a hat on? Did you try? Did you try? Go right ahead. I'm going to hear your doorbell. Go ahead. What's your question, young man? Anyway. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And someone else would like to 
say hello to everyone up there. Hello, childhood me. <laughs> this question is directed immediately. Well, first let me say, Rebecca, thank you for everything you've done. And And I, uh, first of all, I'd like to say, well, again, I'd like to say, let us go to the question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so flustered. It's okay. So, Trash cat, ladies and gentlemen. You want the books. Do you get it all the time? I'm Josh Cat. You love the second cosplay. To Rebecca and to Ian, has Cartoon Network ever said no into anything you ever wanted in an episode? That's well, so everything. When, when I really want to fight for something, I have to fight, and I do. Um, so the answer is yes and no. They've everyone's been very flexible with me. If I can just explain why what I want to do is important. Yeah. Uh, this question is uh, about how you guys, it's a little piggyback off of the first person who asked a question, but uh, one of the most admirable and compelling things about Steven Universe as a show is how all of the characters portray strength in their own unique ways, in particular in relation to their perceived gender. Um, one particular aspect comes to mind when Stephen first met Jasper. Uh, she said something to the effect of, um, Rose, why do you look like that? Why are you so weak? And there was some ambiguity as to whether it's because Stephen is human or if Stephen is, in fact, because he's a male, or at least identifies that way. So I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit more about the development of the subtext that is a common theme of the whole show. Wow. Do you want to be a wife or something like that? I feel like I earned college credits just by hearing that. <laughs> In that specific instance, Jasper has really no sense of that, but Stephen is small. <laughs> and Jasper is not. Uh, so, uh, in that particular instance, she's sort of referring to, she, she knows what Rose looks like, and it's definitely not small. Um, and it's not like Stephen. Uh, I think that that, it's a, it's a very complicated question because it's different for every character the way that we show their strengths and weaknesses. I actually feel uh, really lucky that within my team we speak so specifically about the characters that I don't even really have to worry too much um, about that aspect of it because they just are who they are. Um, that's my goal with writing it and, and my team has been so on board with that. Next up, a lady with many eyes. <laughs> Hi! Um, so we finally got to see Rose um, fuse, and since we've seen F Steven fuse with Connie, I was wondering if we will ever get to see like Steven fuse with Pearl, and if so, will it be the same gem, same gem with a new appearance, or a new gem altogether? There's really no way to know. <laughs> That's all I can really say about that. It's a really good question. That's up, I knew it was coming. Next question. Um, this is for the Steven Universe people. I was wondering, could you like handle the things have Steve sorry? Can you handle those things that Steven has done not being a gem? Like, oh, that he's done not being a gem? As in, could he do what he does if he wasn't a gem? No, like, could you do what he does if you were in his same position, not being a full gem, but having some gem in you? Like, could you emotionally take it? 
I think he, he is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, do you have what it takes? <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. I, um, a lot of, a lot of that. Well, I mean, the show is, is based on my brother Stephen, and there are times when, uh, if I, when I've gone through things that I couldn't handle, where he was just unequivocally there for me. Um, I think he, he's a really strong person, and so is the character, and that's the real sort of truth that I try to write. Now that girl, I was like, oh, she's wearing an Adventure Time shirt. This question's for us. Hi, I have a question for the Steven Universe people. That was a eight switch girlfriend. <laughs> All right, we have time for one more question. What? I know, I wish we had more time. You can come over later and we can ask as many questions as you want. So you better not screw this one up, lady. <laughs> that Vulcan showed emotion. That Vulcan showed sadness. <laughs> you want to hide your human side spot. Wait, could you do that one more time? With <laughs> <laughs> the sadness. With the sadness. Thank you. And the, and the music to boot. Yeah. <laughs> what was the next question? Um, well, we have, or this is for Rebecca Sugar. Uh, <laughs> will we ever like spot. hear the backstories of the gems, like how Ruby met Sapphire, or how Rose met the rest of the gang? Yes. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> all, both of your guys, all your guys' shows is amazing. But I was wondering, um, we saw the preview with a song, and I was wondering how, if we could expect a lot more songs in Steven Universe. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, there will be a lot. Sugar panel, everyone. Really, really Let's go, Rebecca. Let's talk to Sam for more. Right, thank you so much, guys. I have a, a couple personal questions here. Uh, if you could do an episode of Adventure Time, but cast all of the Adventure Time people as Muppets, who would they be? Oh, wow. My favorite thing to do is cast pre-existing things, but like who, who, who the Muppets would play in them. I'm very curious. The, the, the eagle on the Muppets would Same. play the, the banana guard number one. <laughs> Smart. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and then, wow. Who played Jake? Probably Fozzie. Fozzie. Yeah. Fozzie. Waka waka waka! <laughs> Maybe Ralph. What time you know? is it? Adventure tech now! <laughs> <laughs> I think Lumpy Space Princess is definitely Miss Piggy. Yeah. yeah. I think if you combine Statler and Waldorf into Statdorf, then you'd have the ice cream. <laughs> Sitting up in the balcony throwing lightning bolts. <laughs> oh, and that really boring new one, Walter. Who would he be? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, Walter is such an exciting All right, moment. kids, time to get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you guys Beaker, have... wait, Beaker could play BMO. Uh, yes. uh, <laughs> B hyphen KR. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do you guys have any crazy fan stories uh, since this uh, whole panel here is for the fans? Do you have like any fan interactions or, or, or any costumes, amazing fan stories? Oh, well, there's lots of crazy costumes. We have plenty on the audience. Yeah, there's thousands of those. It's awesome. We, we were in Australia and somebody had a, the hood of their car yeah. was, was, was made of, like painted entirely in Jake's. It was Jake's all over it, yeah. which was kind of cool. We signed it and stuff like that. And then also fun. while we were over there, there was a, a dude had a this whole oh. two story outside of his house. It was yeah. all custom, like artist mural, all like Adventure Time at the Treehouse, all the characters on all the outside and stuff. It was crazy. We, we have it on our, our Twitter. Yeah. yeah. If you if you guys are into Twitter. Follow them. You can find me at Jeremy Shade on Twitter and Instagram. Also, I've seen. Um, an infant dressed as Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> you haven't seen anything more cute than a little baby that you just imagine it saying, oh my glob, and you're like, that's it, that's a wrap on the day, I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's okay, and the last but not least, the voice of Marceline Olivia Olsen. <laughs> on the 2015 uh, Peabody Award, which is a, a huge deal. Uh, I believe the quote was, uh, sorry, the quote was, it entertains even as it subtly teaches lessons about growing up, accepting responsibility, and becoming who you're meant to be. That's a banjo lady, y'all. It's a banjo lady, I'm banjo happy ukulele. That was absolutely beautiful. I've seen her. I've seen her set that on fire and throw it into the audience like Hendrix. Yeah. <laughs> um, in more Marsley news, uh, we would like to check out uh, uh, Olivia's uh, kicks here. Her shoes. Am I crazy? Uh -oh. Do we have something? Do we have something here? Did I jump the gun? No, I did not. I don't think I did. Well. I'll explain them before I get up so you can hear me. But Doc Martin is coming out with a collaboration with Adventure Time. <laughs> yeah, it drops next fall, and you can get it through Doc Martin, and I'll show you now. Wow. So we're waiting for the other shoe to drop, literally. <laughs> right here, I guess? Ladies from the 
about the Huntsman Collection. <laughs> no matter where your Comic-Con is, winter, summer, spring, or fall, Doc Martin and Olivia Olson have it all. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. They were looking for a size 14 and a Jake, and they were like, we can't find that, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like size 9, that's not really the hardest Marceline thing to find. Like we got some! Marceline does what it is. They made, they made Jake Dickies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the messy ones. <laughs> Do you like biscotti? <laughs> It's just your actual face. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. It's like it's my so mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I love food. Yeah. Uh, we need more garments. Yeah. The ice. <laughs> it's the ice cream G string with detachable beard. <laughs> say that, please be aware, there's many members of the audience that are under 18 years of age. Hey, come so on. Is it right in front of you? Right there. <laughs> I was told I I did not know this. I have no pants on behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I was unaware. I was unaware. It's nice. It's a Comic-Con breeze. Did the, did the nair hurt? <laughs> no, it's <just> sorry. <laughs> Live, so. Oh my god, Marceline was looking right at me when she's singing. <laughs> Every guy in the audience. <laughs> she was looking right at me. This song is called Everything. updates on season seven. Oh, thank you all for being here, by the way. And can you tell if my notes are in order? <laughs> thank you all for being here after I've already talked to you. Hey, can I thank 
you for being an awesome, awesome moderator. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trying real hard. You're succeeding real hard. Uh, hey, thank you. This is a, uh, this is definitely about me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Correct. Correct. Uh, no, seriously. Can you guys uh, could you fill us in on what's in store for uh, season seven, which premieres uh, later this year? And by the way, last card of the first book. Woo! <laughs> it's like Gordon Dahl's Lincoln. <laughs> Season 7 should premiere later this fall, and one of the first episodes is a guest-directed episode by Kirsten Lepore and Mix Picks Entertainment, and it's a stop-motion episode. And I think we're going to show a clip right now. Oh, what a, what a coincidence! This is called Bad Jubies, which is just my favorite word to say. <laughs> it's an amazing word. Uh, yeah, this is guest-directed by Kirsten Lepore, stop-motion animation coming out later this year. Let's, uh, let's look at that clip. Excellent subject. That's so sweet. I want to hug all those characters now. <laughs> they look so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> was that was that fun for you guys to see, like in a new format? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the first time. That's the first time, I've the first time you've seen yeah. it. Too. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. I think every show should be remade and stop it. <laughs> um, also, coming this Halloween. Uh, is something that Marceline fans will love to sink their teeth into. Uh, uh, could you tell, uh, tell us a little something about that, Olivia? Yeah, we are doing an eight-part little mini-sode called Steaks. And you're going to find a lot about some history. And... Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. It's going to be epic. epic adventures. That's, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> it's going to be epic! Oh, yes, it will be. Yeah. Um, and I believe we have a performance. Yeah, we should probably set that up a little. Oh yeah, so. you probably set this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a Marceline miniseries, uh, it wouldn't really feel complete unless Rebecca Sugar wrote a song for it. So. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The best song you've written yet for the show, or at least for Marceline. <laughs>